In this video, we're going to talk about how to install Ruby on Rails on Mac OS X Tiger. And this is specifically for Mac OS X Tiger, and we are going to be installing it from the source code and compiling it. There's a number of components that need to be installed on Tiger, the first of which is Ruby. Uh, there is a version of Ruby installed with Tiger, but there's some things that are broken in that, especially with regards to Ruby on Rails. So we're going to go ahead and just install and a newer version of Ruby, the current version, so that it works well with Rails. Before we actually install Ruby, we have to install a library called Readline, and this allows Ruby to edit command line stuff. So, um, so at the at the command line, you can do inserts, deletes, those kind of edits. And so when we compile Ruby, it actually needs access to those libraries. And I'm going to use this as an example of how all of these components are going to be installed, because they're pretty much the same. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the installation steps. There's several things that need to be installed, and I've detailed them in working documents that are on the CD and are also available for download from the virtual training company's uh, online university website. The things that we're going to look at specifically installing is going to be Ruby, the actual language, Ruby on Rails, a web server called LightTPD, and then in another video we're going to talk about installing and get running the MySQL database server. There's several other little things that need to be installed that go along with this, and that's the fast CGI, which is a CGI component that allows the LightTPD uh, server to run Rails and Ruby code quite quickly. Uh, Ruby Gems, which is a Ruby package manager. Of course, I already mentioned the readline library. Then there's PCRE, which is a regular expression library that the light TPD web server needs. And then you need fast CGI and MySQL bindings. Now those later things are quite simple, easy things, and I will show you the other install process, which has to do with the Ruby uh, scripted ones. So we're actually having two types of things we're installing here, things that are C source code and things that are Ruby scripted code. So the first thing we're going to install is the readline library, so we're going to compile it and install it. And I've already downloaded it, and I used curl to download it, which is a command line utility to download stuff. The specific sites for each of these is detailed in the working documents, and, and the exact order of these commands is also detailed in there. So let me go ahead and show you here. i got a number of things in here, but if you notice, I have this readline file right here, and it's tar.tar.tar. .tar gz so it's a tar gzip file so it's compressed and it's also um, tarred which means it's taken all of a particular directory and put it into one file so we're going to go ahead in one command that unzip it and untar it so that command is tar xzvf or some flags that stand for expanding it uncompress it and verbose so we can see what's going on and it's from a file and that file is readline this will happen very quickly it expands it out now i'm going to CD down into that directory and typically in these programs, these C based programs, you're going to see some something like this with a number of C files. You're going to see an install file perhaps, perhaps a readme. I recommend that you look through those and understand what they're saying. The main thing that we're going to run here is this configure script so that we know or so that we're going to use that script, in other words, to tell the compiler how to actually build this file. Now, in order to make this happen, you have to have the developer tools Xcode 2.0 or later installed because you need a C compiler installed. So we're going to go ahead and issue this configure script. And again, all this does is create the make files that we'll use to actually compile this. 